Morning guys and welcome back to a brand new vlog. So today is Friday the 1st of May, so happy May to everyone. And it was actually meant to be the first day of my Hindu. My Hindu was gonna be over the Friday, the Saturday and the Sunday. And um, of course we've had to postpone it for now. Um, but I just received the most beautiful gift from all my hen guys and gals. Um, they sent me this really lovely card with a little message inside. And then they sent me some flowers from Bloom and Wild. And I absolutely love the flowers from Bloom and Wild. Um, they send them when they're buds so that they last a really long time and you can like see them bloom. And yeah, it's just really special because obviously I'm a little disappointed um, that it has to be postponed, but I know that so, so many people are in the exact same position um, as me. So yeah, it's just really thoughtful of everyone to <laughs> send me this. And yeah, it put a really big smile on my face. Um, so yeah, if anyone's watching from my hen guys and gals, thank you so, so much. And I'm gonna rearrange them now and then I can show you what they look like. So at the moment, I only have this vase and it's quite a small vase. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit the flowers in. If not, I'm gonna have to use a um, big glass. Um, but I'll see, I'll leave that there for now. But here are the beautiful flowers. And what Bloom and Wild do is they send you a little care guide. So you literally just follow the steps in here. And then you can rearrange your flowers in the way that they're meant to be. And yeah, they last such a long time. So I'm really excited. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. I love that these roses have like a little protective cover on them. It's so cute. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. I also love these little kind of flowers. I think they're so cute. <laughs> they're just like little pom poms. <laughs> Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy but things are finally right with you and i the future is bright oh, you and i we got it oh, we don't need no more oh, even in the hard times you and i can weather There they are, all rearranged. I'm gonna leave them just to perk up a little bit, but they look absolutely beautiful already and they're not even bloomed. I can't wait till these bloom, they're gonna look stunning. So what I did is I put the water and the flower food. I had to use a um, glass because my vase wasn't big enough. <laughs> um, I thought it wouldn't be. And then yeah, I've got their little card by it. And yeah, that just makes me smile whenever I see that now. I'm just gonna remember all my amazing friends. So thank you so much. I absolutely love them. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just feel a bit out of sorts because I didn't start the vlog with Helena. So um, yeah, just thought I'd crop up and say howdy doody this morning. Sorry, I'm acting a bit weird. Um, so we are about to do our exercise. Actually, I took a break from the exercise yesterday. Uh, Helena did this like, seemed like a really intense thing where she was dancing to ABBA. But I, I, I said, no, I'll, I'll take a day off this day. Um, I do want to try it at some point though. I love me some ABBA. Uh, today we're going to do uh, Lucy Wyndham Reid. Uh, we're going to do the 10 minute home hit workout. Oh yeah. Hear the cricket, see the moon. Side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally 
And then while we were doing the workout, we were listening to Disney songs and uh, Aladdin came on, One Jump, and it made me remember what we watched last night after we finished the quiz. So um, yesterday when we recorded this, it was our live Disney quiz, the third one. If you still want to take part, then it's still on the channel. And then if you haven't taken part in the other two, they're up there as well. Uh, let us know what score you get. And thank you as well to everyone that joined us for the, so much. the third one. We couldn't believe it really. <laughs> can't believe how many people joined again. Yeah, so and all lovely. the messages, and it really blew us away. Yeah, it was it was a lovely way for us to spend a couple of hours. Um, but <laughs> afterwards, we watched uh, one of the Aladdin sequels, and it was the Return of Jafar. And I got mixed up because one of them is quite good. I think it's the Prince of Prince Thieves. Prince of Thieves or King of Thieves? King of Thieves, something like that. That one's like semi decent. But I got confused and thought it was the return of Jafar, yeah. which isn't as good. But you've got to watch them in order anyway. I yeah. wouldn't feel right watching King of Thieves. Um, yeah, no, it was a bit of a strange one. I still don't know how I feel about it. It it was called the return of Jafar, but it should have been called the return of Iago. There's a lot of Iago. <laughs> he was in like every scene. Um, so let us know what you think of return of Jafar. Uh, we'll be trying to watch King of Thieves uh, soon because I was reading as well, of course, I went to internet movie, movie database yeah, and found out that for King of Thieves the uh, legal issue with Robin Williams that prevented him from being in the second one um, it got resolved and so he's in he's back in yeah. he's in the King of Thieves maybe that's why King of Thieves is better because it has Robin Williams back he in just it. lifts it uh, the guy that does the voice of the genie in Return of Jafar and also is the voice of genie in Disneyland Paris when you go on the magic carpets is Dan Castellaneta the guy that does Homer Simpson. Oh, he is good, but he's just not the genie because people are so used to. The thing is, he's Robin so. Williams. But he's also so recognisable as, as, Homer. as Homer Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so we watched that. Hopefully, watch King of Thieves soon. But also, he recorded Dan Castellaneta. He recorded all the dialogue for the King of Thieves, and then when they heard that they could get Robin Williams, they didn't use any of it. And they put Robin Williams back in. <laughs> Bless them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so plan for today, we'll shower, mm -hmm. and then crack on with the day. We've got a few adulting jobs. We've got a few bills to pay. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to pay some bills, and then... I've got to do some subtitles. And then we're going to watch Cinderella. Yes. Because it's next on our classics list. We'll probably watch that with lunch, won't we? We got through Ichabod and Mr. Toad yesterday. Mr. Toad, I didn't mind. But yeah. the Ichabod story seemed to go on for ages. <laughs> I'm glad that we're out of that that era. I'm ready to enter the Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan era. Oh, we've got some, we've got some great <laughs> got films some coming up. Coming up. <laughs> anyway, we better get ready. So we've showered and we've made some lunch. It's raining today, isn't it? It's raining. It hasn't rained in ages. Raining and it's pouring, the it old man is snoring. spitting the other day, but then it kind of cleared up but yeah today it's very rainy <laughs> that still reminds me of peter k from his stand-up routine you ever heard that where oh. he's like when you're in the playground when you're in school and the dinner ladies would come out they'd be like it's spitting it's spitting everybody <laughs> in <laughs> love that in my old primary school um i have really vivid memories of we had a playground which was like concrete and then we had a field which was grass mm -hmm. and we were only allowed on the grass if it was like good weather or like I don't know there was just rules about when we could go on the grass and then the dinner ladies had this like huge bell and sometimes they would ring the bell and they'd say you're allowed on the grass <laughs> and it would literally be like a stampede onto the grass like yes <laughs> the bell to signify you're allowed on the grass yeah and did you used to have the bell you had to freeze and then bell again and you had to walk Not that I do remember. they still do that so like you were playing and then it got to the end of your playtime they'd ring the bell once and you'd all have to freeze where you are 
and then they'd ring it again and then you'd have to walk to your classroom. No, I think there was I think there was a bell and then we had to like form lines. Uh, and then we went inside. You didn't do the freeze. <laughs> do freeze. But, if, like, but sometimes people used to take it really extreme. So like say you were mid-run, <laughs> they'd try and freeze like... <laughs> Did you get penalised if you didn't freeze? Oh, if you moved. Really? Yeah. They'd be like, no moving! Blimey, so <laughs> scary. If you want to know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to rain for 105 minutes. <laughs> oh, not that phone. <laughs> Martin's phone tells us when it's going to rain and for how long. Yeah. And he always lets me know. <laughs> <laughs> so are we going to watch Cinderella? Uh, we can do, or we can save Cinderella to later. And we can watch, there's a new high school musical, the musical, the series. Oh, it's Friday. Completely forgot. Mm -hmm. And we're also three behind in Mandalorian. But no Imagineering story. No Imagineering story. We finished And it. the one day at Disney's we haven't caught up from oh, last yeah. week. Alright, let's watch some Disney Plus and we'll watch Cinderella later. Yeah. Hey guys, so... When was the last time I picked up the camera? Oh, I think I was talking about being at school. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so we just had lunch and we watched High School Musical, the musical, the series. <laughs> um, and now I'm just having a bit of a lazy day today. Lazy day. A lazy, lazy. day. Lazy. Um, so I've got my spirit jersey on and I'm watching some A Clary Tale. She is chatting all about her Japan trip. If you haven't gone and watched her Japan vlogs, they're really good. And Japan is somewhere we always like think about going to Tokyo. That would be amazing one day. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm just chilling watching YouTube. Um, we don't really have that many jobs to do today. Apart from obviously cook later, pay the bills. We still haven't paid those bills we were chatting about. <laughs> putting it off. But we do need to pay those bills. <laughs> Why are you talking like that? <laughs> what? We've got to pay those bills. got to pay those bills. Those bills aren't going to pay it themselves. <laughs> although I wish they would. <laughs> what are you on about? I don't know. But I'm going to pass you over to Martin because he is going to take you through to the kitchen because he is going to sing you a song. I'm not going to no, sing No, he's not. No, he's I'm, he's I'm practicing. practicing. And also I know some of you asked about a duet and um, some more song covers and we actually fell off the bandwagon a bit with um, recording some song covers but we really really want to get back on it and we also really wanted to do a duet but we want to ask you guys for some duet recommendations um, because we're kind of struggling to think of what would be a good one for both of us. I don't know if there's any good Disney ones we could do. Not sure. I don't know. If you have any recommendations, pop them in the comments and we'll have a look. Um, but yeah, you're going to go play guitar, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm in the kitchen now. So what we're going to do, I know we're not playing a quiz, but we're going to do uh, Guess That Tune. <laughs> I'm going to do three different tunes. Here's the first one. Put down your guesses in the comments. This first one, I think, should hopefully be quite easy. that tune put it in the comments <laughs> <laughs> so the first one was a non-disney song this is a disney song and this is just the chorus can you guess what it is number two okay and then we're gonna do a third and this is gonna be non Disney this is gonna be by my favorite artist of all time one of his songs and you'll know who that is if you've uh, watched one of our kitchen sessions I've performed one of the songs uh, by him on the channel so here is number three guess this tune <laughs> So 
there you are, three tunes there, put down your comments, uh, what were the names of those three tunes? Look guys, they've bloomed already, I can't believe that, that's incredible, they've only been out for like six hours maybe? Blooming marvellous! Oh dear, guess who that was, <laughs> they're so pretty, look at that, I love the colours. So our last HelloFresh meal of this week is quick and sticky beef. So it's 15 minutes, but we're a bit worried because it says that it's very hot. We I don't know. we don't handle spice well, so maybe we need to just uh, pull back on some of the mix we're putting in. <laughs> and also we've got sour cream, haven't we? Yes, I kept a bit of sour and cream. <laughs> Oh, so I get to do it today, the grand reveal, and there it is! It's Looks the so quick darker. and <laughs> sticky beef! So we've got our food, Cinderella's all set, play! I'm gonna enjoy some quick and sticky beef and Cinderella. And it's the first time you've ever seen it! Yeah, I don't think I have seen it. <gasps> Oh, that was cute. We just finished watching Cinderella and it is, it's, it, well, I have no recollection of ever watching that film, <laughs> ever. Probably didn't. And uh, it's just, it's just become one of my absolute favourites. Has it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it made me feel like so warm and cosy. Yeah, it's nice. And I hated, I've watched it in years. I hated uh, Lady Tremaine. She's an evil, oh. an evil villain. Um, like there was bits where I was actually like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> when they were trying to stop her. <laughs> it is lovely. I like that and also the live action. Like they're both just so magic. I think it's a story. I mean, I really like that one because the mice, mm. the mice were just so funny gosh, gosh. and really cute. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if we'll watch Cinderella 2. There's also Cinderella 3, I think. If you've seen them, let us know in the comments. But, I mean, this looks so different. Because, I mean, when was the original? 19... 1950. And the Cinderella 2 was 2002. 52 years later. <laughs> they decided to do number 2. That's crazy. Um, it looks Who's a lot... that cat? Look, with it... the pink bow. Oh, yeah. It looks a lot, uh, <laughs> a lot more CGI'd. Yeah. <laughs> We think we're going to end this vlog now yes. because uh, this is actually going up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Well, as you're watching it now, it, it's now, but you know, tomorrow for us. <laughs> so yeah, going to uh, finish it here and then that gives us time to edit it and get it set for the premiere. And then the vlog on Sunday is going to be our Disney day at home yes. because just um, after we finish this vlog, we're going to start planning it because we're yeah. doing it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, we're going to go go with it tomorrow. Unfortunately, our Mickey cookie cutters, cookie cookie cutters, <laughs> um, they were meant to arrive today, but then we got an email saying that they're they're not coming today and that they're going to be coming between the second and the fifth of May. So we're either going to try and make them ourselves. <laughs> Or they might arrive tomorrow, we don't know. It's going to be a disaster because we might have to try and carve out Make Mickey's. the shape. It might be quite funny though. Or maybe we just do squares. Or we'll try like, Or re rectangles. <laughs> yeah, Rice Krispie rectangles. <laughs> so we will see you tomorrow for yes. another vlog. Um, our Disney day. So make sure you're tuned back in at 11 o'clock tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Go on then. Just make Helen awake because she thinks I'm not going to say it. Doodle Pipsky. Bye.